Hello and welcome. Great viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching me from, I thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I appreciate you wherever you're connecting from. If you're joining me from any part of the world, I say thank you very much for your contribution to the channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. And remember, remember in this channel, we do not talk against people, neither do we preach hate speech, but we are bringing information to your doorstep. There are so many information that will elude us because we are too busy or because of one thing or the other. I make research to get these videos to bring it to your doorstep. You watch the video. After watching, you can go to the comment section and put down your comments. It is for educational purpose. It is for us to get informed. It is not to demonize anybody or to talk down on anybody, but to set the record straight. Because the conventional media most times cannot do everything for us. They can't say it the way we want it. We come on social media, we share these videos, then we go to the comment section and we share our views. Feel free to say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to attack you. Nobody's going to come against you. Just express yourself. That is what we are doing on this channel. And we'll continue to bring news and information. More especially news about Nigeria, Africa and the world as well, in general. We'll bring it to your doorstep for you to know what is actually going on. If you stick to us, you will never be left behind. You will be updated and you will know what is going on. That is why we are here. Thank you so much for joining. Let us watch this video. Watch it patiently from beginning to the end. I will bet you, you will not regret your date. Let's watch. Things I call today, making it explain to us basically. Um, now go call today, say me they abridge time, they shift the time from 19th to earlier date for in trial in, in the hearing of the trial. But the judge say time no day and that he shared you date tight. Um, waiting really play out for court today. She said she don't get time, but later added one. Say make it be 18, 19, and 20. No problem. But the yes, so matter when they see us, we never address them. We see where we we'll say for yes. the entire right. Where the man supposed to be. Constitution say make this be free to yeah. God. Now constitutional right. Let me start the way DSS uh, will go back. They tell her, say, you know, they do his prayer as God is supposed to worship his God. And now, you know, handle our work. This is already the big thing. Forgive strong order. They make them allow them making the end. Let them give them material where they pray. Because now, Jewish people. As they talk that one, they talk about saying, we don't allow them to see sunlight. Almost in 3 to 4 hours. Put them for 2 by 2 so when you get uh, space. Now, fundamental right, that constitution will give them that one. The one will pay me, so they say, as they take material, they go give them for court. Where you could use the defense itself. They let them allow them making it. You know, say constitution talk say, you perceive the accused. He will get all the facilities where a lot of the material with which he could be defending himself. If you know Allah make you read the copy, if Allah make you know make note for his client, how the trial will be fair for you. See this man where they are, the eye in eye. You know, say justice, now in the balance of the give up the material, I get to where you could use the defending himself. So, so mainly at this fundamental issue. Okay, so um, one of the organs where represent Nadi Kanu, one of the issues where you raise be saying are in fundamental right. Um, but the court also gives say, don't give others say, make this fundamental right, make them adhere to RAM. Um, basically, for many Nigerians, uh, young audience, where won't know waiting, waiting happen for court today. I did court, but waiting, you didn't satisfy with the order when you give, say, make them take care of them for them, make them give them water, make it bath, make them change in clothes, make them ensure say, chop wear, all those orders. How you? How you check him? Uh, at least that's the most important thing that we should know out from the court today. And also the fact that uh, the gate has been abridged from the end of the motion, the only thing we should the court. And so, all apart from that, the court also made up for them to check the room that is in the So, and also allow the medical expert to visit here and they also uh, remind him to make sure that he has a good answer. They are going to the court about his uh, uh, medical uh, states, uh, so social and medical states, so that's uh, also addressed by the court. The court made for additional that to regards to what uh, our request and our appeal to the court. So uh, as you start the fact that the court also run down through the, run down through the, the Shadow and Diary and also, and we co confirm for ourselves that uh, the Diary of the court was far gone to the court to do a vacation of the court this morning, to resume our services. And apart from the vacation, the court also engaged on a number of official uh, functions which is shown from the uh, 
So, and at that, at that, at that point in time, we became a, we, we, we understood the film that in fact, the that they were not uh, to otherwise. So, and before the court, uh, we appealed to the court. Fellow Nigerians, I stand before you today, not as Aisha Yusufu, but as your fellow citizen. And so when you hear me refer to myself, when I say me, I'm not talking about me, Aisha Yusufu. I'm talking about that fellow Nigerian, that your fellow citizen, that tired Nigeria. And the question I'm asking today is this, is it fair? Is it fair the pressure you put on me as a fellow citizen? Is it fair the repeated calls you make to me as a fellow citizen? Is it fair the numerous messages you send to me as a fellow citizen? Is it fair all of this pressure, all of these things, all of this mounting, and yet you don't do your own bit? When your child is hungry, you reach out to your fellow citizen. When your child is sick, you reach out to your fellow citizen. When you cannot pay school fees, you're reaching out to your fellow citizen. When you cannot pay your house rent, you're reaching out to your fellow citizen. Sometimes you send texts in the middle of the night. You do not even ask what that your fellow citizen is going through. Is it fair the pressure you put on me as a fellow citizen? Why is it that you don't reach out to the government that is supposed to take care of your needs? Why is it that you don't make demands on those who have been voted into office, who are using your money to do a lot of things, to mess about with your money, enrich themselves? Is it fair what you're doing to me? As a fellow citizen, I'm sick, I'm tired. Is it fair the emotional blackmail you put on me? You send me pictures, sometimes horrible pictures, of things happening in your life that you want solution to. You forget that I too have my own problems as a fellow citizen. You forget that I'm also dealing with a lot of things, but yet you mount this pressure. Is it fair? Is it fair what we do to ourselves? Meanwhile, we leave those who we have voted into office, we never get to them. You come to me, you're looking for a job. Where well, have you asked your governor to give you a job? Have you asked your local government chairman to provide jobs for you? Have you asked your senators? Have you asked your House of Rep members? Have you asked your House of Assembly members what are they doing to ensure that there's an enabling environment for jobs to be created so that you have work and then you will need to ask me, your fellow citizen? Is it fair? Is it fair when it is time to vote? Every four years you have a simple task. Just very simple. Go out there and vote in the right person. The best candidate that will ensure that you're enabling an environment for you to have jobs, for businesses to thrive, for development. And you don't. You stay at home. You do nothing. You refuse to go out to vote. You just sit down and you say votes don't count. And then yet, at the end of the day, after the whole election, you call me to tell me your problem. Me, your fellow citizen, is it fair? Is it fair the pressure you're putting on me? The economy is down. My business are down. My job, I don't get as much salary. Your fellow citizen, the things I used to get to do, get money before, the government has shut it down. And yet you're mounting your pressure on me. You're sending me your problem that I should solve your problem as your fellow citizen. Is it fair? Is it fair? 
Yeah, government will come and they will buy votes. They spend 5,000 Naira, they spend 500 Naira. They spend less than 10,000 or 20,000 to buy votes. And then yet, all your problem, you keep bring it to me, your fellow citizen, to solve. And this problem, in the four years, we run into hundreds of thousands of Naira. Is it fair? The smallest thing that you can do is to ensure you get your voter's card, is to go out there and vote and sit down and ensure it's just a day your votes are counted and that your votes get in, the right person gets into power so that we have a enabling environment and then nobody will need to ask anybody for help. Yet, you refuse to do it. Is it fair? Is it fair? Is it fair the pressure you are mounting on your fellow citizens? The text messages you are sending, you are asking for this, you are asking for that, you are hounding your fellow citizens. Yet, the smallest thing that you can do to ensure that we have a enabling environment in this country so that you don't need to ask anybody for anything, you don't want to do it. Let me tell you something. I do not want to help anybody. I want people not to need my help. I want us all to have the same basic things that we all can enjoy so that we are not asking everybody. Do your part so that I'll do my part so that we can have a Nigeria where we don't need to call our fellow citizens but we ensure that government provide the right thing that will give us a better country and a better life. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from what you have just watched in the video. Let us go to the comment section and put down our comments from what you have just watched. Let us try to make a sense out of every nonsense that we have seen and watched and had. Let us make a sense out of it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you again next time. Remember us.